Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Note Worthy Life, and this is a Plan With Me video for June of 2019, and I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10. I'm going to walk you through how I evaluate my prior month and how I set up for the upcoming month. Um, now, as usual, for my Plan With Me videos, I have already done this process, and the reason I do it ahead of time is so that I can really take my time and think through what I got done and what I want to accomplish and what went wrong and what went right and that kind of thing, and then I can give you a cohesive walkthrough. And also, I don't have that much to show in terms of OneNote tips or techniques in these videos, so it just makes more sense to just give you a walkthrough. Um, now, since early March, I've been keeping my schedule really light because my husband broke his leg and had to have surgery. So it was a pretty severe break, but they do expect him to make a almost full or full recovery. So he's healing well, but it's been a lot of work and appointments for both of us. Um, and he's only recently begun to start putting weight on his leg. So what you'll see is, you know, just a very light month for me. So the first thing I start with is a review of the prior month, which in this case is May. So these were my personal goals for May. Um, the first thing, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm starting with my goals for One Noteworthy Life, which is my business and blog. So the first thing uh, I wanted to do was get started with uh, setting up a process so that I can host guests on the Take Note chat. Uh, that's my monthly live broadcast where I have a guest and we talk about OneNote related topics. It's kind of like a video podcast. Um, I did get this started. I didn't finish it, but I have an idea of what I want and I just need to fill the pages in with the information the guests will need. Uh, I also have a few old email lists from some prior business activities that I did and um, they're just not being used anymore. So I've been slowly deactivating them so that I don't have to pay the extra fee for having more subscribers than I actually work with. Um, I had three to go. I got one done, still have two to go. Um, and then one thing I made progress on that I didn't expect to was I got my content checklists much closer to up to date. So if you're a content creator, you may know this, but when you create a piece of content, whether it's a blog post or a video or whatnot, there's things that happen after that. So you might want to uh, share it in other places or things like that. So um, I was very behind on that and I got much closer to caught up. So that was kind of a bonus. So now for my personal goals. So I wanted to have a daily calorie average of negative 280, and I've hit that. I far surpassed it, so that's awesome. So I'm going to bump that way up in June. Um, I am trying to get back to a healthy body weight because I had gained some weight a while back. The next thing I had was under the umbrella of be ready, and this is kind of my working theme for 2019 and maybe even beyond. Um, I want to kind of just feel more ready for whatever life brings, whether that's opportunities or surprises or problems or whatever. And I wanted to spend 10 minutes per day on the postal mail. I get a ton of postal mail and I'm working on reducing that as well. That's part of it. Um, and I did that. I got it um, done and it feels really good. The amount of unprocessed mail is slowly shrinking. So that's great. And then the other thing I wanted to do is to start learning about burnout. Um, I think I'm experiencing some burnout right now, and I don't know much about it, actually. So I did find a book. It is called Peak Performance, Elevate Your Game, Avoid Burnout, and Thrive with the New Science of Success. I will link to that in the description of this video. And uh, I'm already loving it. It's great. I'm not very far into it, but I've already learned a lot and really had some light bulbs go on. So that is really good. So the next thing I do is I have this section called what else, and this is just a free form section that I add in. And in this section, I write down anything that happened, whether it's good, bad, just unexpected, anything that had an impact on how my month turned out. Um, and so the first thing in this section is that Chris started intensive physical therapy. So several times a week, longer appointments, and um, that's just a lot of extra appointments on both of our calendars. Um, I, I got an update to, I have a Facebook group, if, if you're not familiar with that. It's called the OneNote Bullet Journal Group, and I updated my header, which really needed to be done. Um, but I want to fix it next month because it's displaying strangely. Uh, and then in this section, I just wrote down a few things that I want to get to in the upcoming months. So one is I want to um, tune up my YouTube About page. I want to remove some books that I sell on Amazon, and I want to... Um, 
shift the date on some of my goals for not so that not everything comes due at the end of the month or the first of the month so that I have a little bit more time to stagger when I'm trying to hit those goals. And so I have daily habits that I do. And if I get behind on those, I like to try and get caught up at the end of the month. And so instead of trying to do that right at the end, I'm shifting that to maybe the third or fourth. And the final thing I got done was I replied to all of the contacts that I've gotten through the contact page on my website. So I had some that I had let go for too long. I didn't realize I had missed them. And so I got all of those done. So that felt really good to not leave people, you know, waiting for an answer. The next thing I do is I look at my May annual plan. And this is what I thought I would be doing in May when I set up my year. And, um, I deliberately set up a really light year for myself under this idea of be ready. I wanted to kind of clean up some old messes and get more on top of things. And so I had nothing planned big for the month of May, which turned out great because of, you know, my husband's accident and, and stuff. Um, and then the final step is my May calendar. Let me just scroll a little bit so that this shows up nicely. So I like to write down and sometimes do a doodle of something good that happened each day. And so this is the end of that. Um, and it really makes me happy to look at all the colors and all the neat things that happened. So um, now it's time to set up June. So the first thing I do is I look at, again, back to that annual plan. And this is what I thought I would be doing in June. Um, we just have a couple of birthdays this month, so um, no big deal there. That should happen, no problem. And then I set my goals for June. Um, and one of the things that has happened through this period with my husband's accident is I've set far fewer goals each month. Like you see three under each section for work and personal. Normally that would be closer to like five or five to seven, but I'm finding I'm making a lot more progress when it's limited to just two or three. So I'm going to continue to do that. And I think it's just part of not spreading yourself so thin and you're not wasting time as much switching from project to project. So, um, for business goals, um, I want to finish setting up this process for hosting guests on my chat. I want to deactivate those last two email lists and, um, make sure all the content checklists are fully up to date. I made progress last month, but, uh, they're not fully up to date. Then my personal goals, I'm going to bump that calorie average to negative 310 every day. And under the be ready theme, I'm going to again, do that, uh, postal mail 10 minutes per day. And then, uh, for the my burnout research, I'm going to finish those first two chapters of the book I'm reading. So very light, not much, not too difficult. So I feel, you know, really good about that, that I'll be able to get those done. And even if they're small goals, I hit them and make progress. And then the final thing is uh, my June calendar. And I'm filming this a few days into June. So you'll see that this is a little bit filled out already, but, um, it's ready, waiting for me to put some good things into it. And that's it. Uh, I am all set up for June super fast this month. Um, having this monthly review process has really allowed me to see um, over the last few years just how much pro progress I can make at things that seem really big and really unwieldy. If I just take tiny steps each month, it really begins to add up, but you don't notice it unless you keep track of it. So that's why this has been really helpful to me. Um, I feel like I just keep stacking those small victories one on top of the other. And then before you know it, it becomes a big victory. Um, so if you have any questions or comments about this or something you want to see in more detail, um, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer you. And if you want to see more videos like this, as well as OneNote tutorials, uh, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.